Shalom. Shalom. Welcome and thank you for agreeing to do this interview. And what made you decide to make Aliyah? Because it's a natural thing to do for Jews. <laughs> yes, it's been a lifelong passion. And last year we went on a two and a half week holiday, just us and our two granddaughters. And we saw that it's so doable and achievable. Yes, and it's incredible to see that Aliyah is still happening even in time of war. Even in time of war, yes. Yeah. Did it I make know. you feel nervous in any way to know that there's actually war going on and you're knowing that? No. Not at all. We'd like to participate and also to give. I want to get involved in volunteering because I do online work which will not interfere. So we're looking forward to that and to go to Ulpan at our age to go and learn. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it too. Yes, we can. Quite doable. Yes. Yes. So you're very excited to go? We are. We are. Very much so. And do you already have a place to stay? Yes, we do. Everything is sorted. We've got seven friends waiting for us. That's amazing. <laughs> and more. <laughs> and more. Okay. And where are you planning to stay in this room? Beshiva's going to help you out. Our base. For, our base. Yeah. yeah, for the first six months and we'll see. I'd like to go to Haifa, but because of the threat and the war and... Thank you so much. For you're more than training. welcome and thank you for the work you do. May God continue to bless you. And uh, what made you decide to join the Nordic Um I decided to join because it's a better opportunity for me there and to meet people from all over the world that are the exact same culture as me. Have you ever been to Israel? No, but a lot of my family members have. So you're really excited? Yeah, I'm excited. That's good. What made you decide to join the Nala program? Well, I used to go to, when I went to King David Linksfield, they would learn a lot about in like Jewish studies. We would learn a lot about Israel and especially the history in Israel and uh, I've always wanted to go there ever since grade five of there so it was like 2020 and I had two friends who went to Monsensen. Um they've always told me how nice Israel is and the food and the people there and I kind of want to experience that myself and finish my education that's incredible. So you decided in grade five that you wanted to go. So you've never been to Israel? Uh, no, I've never been to Israel. So Lily, what made you decide to join the Nile program? Well, so my brother joined two years ago um, when he was my age and I've seen it has had a really great effect on him. And um, it's a great quality of life in Israel as well um, because I've visited and I really enjoyed it. Do you plan to join the IDX afterwards? Um, I think I'm required to, as I have an Israeli passport. Amazing. So. We'd like to express our deep gratitude to Pastor Rhino. And Rhino TV. Thank you very, very much, much for all that you do and all you have done and all you're going to do mm -hmm. to get us, Olim, back, back to the to homeland. homeland. God bless and bless your TV station. Hi, I'm Shelly from the Israel Center here in Johannesburg, South Africa. And we'd just like to express our very deep appreciation to Pastor Rana and to the Rana TV, um, who has spent the hugest amount of effort to support our, our Olim and to make their dream to return back to our homeland in Israel come true. Um, thank you so much. It really means the world to us. And we wish you all the best and blessings always. 